Hello students, in this video we'll show the eigenvalues of A times B is equal to the eigenvalue set of B times A, right? So suppose that A and B are n by n matrices. Then the spectrum of AB is the spectrum of B, A. In other words, the eigenvalues of A times B are equal to the eigenvalues of B times A, right? Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do, we're going to prove this two ways, actually, to give an illustration of both very, two very important methods, right? So the first thing to consider is the case when either A or B has a zero eigenvalue, right? So suppose, so in other words, recall that determinants of lambda identity minus A, B is the characteristic equation for the matrix AB, okay? So if zero is an eigenvalue of A, so if, if lambda equals zero is an eigenvalue of AB, that implies that the determinant of AB is equal to zero. But that implies that the determinant of A times the determinant of B is equal to zero by properties of determinants, but that's the same thing by commutativity as the determinant of b times a is equal to zero. And that says that lambda equals zero is an eigenvalue of b a. Okay? So that takes care of the case when if, if zero is an eigenvalue of one, it has to be an eigenvalue of the other. Now, what about the situation when you don't have a zero eigenvalue? Let's suppose that lambda is not equal to zero. Suppose lambda is not equal to zero, then divide by lambda by lambda, right? And what I would say, if I divide a by lambda, I would say that the determinants of the identity minus this, mo mi minus this modified a, a times b is equal to zero, right? All right, and so what we can do now is we want to show that this operator is invertible, uh, that this operator is not invertible, if and only if what? If and only if this operator of identity minus b times a is equal to zero, right? So I'm going to change this into in, to an invertibility condition, right? So in other words, it says that identity minus a b invertible if and only if identity minus b a is invertible. Okay, and so here's where we use a common trick that occurs a lot in linear algebra, right? And that's if I look at the following, if I look at, if I look at just numbers over here, if I just looked at one minus a b where they don't, where a b don't commute to the power of negative one, then what would this be? This would be one plus a b plus a b a b plus a b a b a b and so on forever, right? And then if I look at 1 minus BA inverse, if they exist, right, this is our motivation, right? 1 minus BA inverse, this would be what? This would be 1 plus BA plus BA, BA plus BA, 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 forever, right? Of course, this is true of A and B are less than 1 in modulus, right? So this is just our, our thought process. This is our idea over here. And then the key behind this over here is that if this, th if this thing exists, if this identity minus a, b exists, then I can sort of relate these two things over here because if I did the following, if I multiplied this thing by a, b, and then a 1 minus a inverse b, and, and then I hit it with an a, that would be a what? That would be a b, a, and then plus a b, a, b, a, and then plus a b, a, b, a, b, a, et cetera. So it looks like this thing over here is very, very close to this thing, except there's an extra one. So it looks like if I want to consider this object over here, one plus b times one minus a, b to negative one, a. It looks like this is a good candidate for my inverse, right? So let's suppose now, so let's do the follow, let's finish the proof now. So let's suppose that the identity minus a, b is invertible, okay? And then let, a, let, um, let x be what? Let's let x be the identity over here. So my, I'm gonna look at this thing over here as my x. x be identity minus a, b inverse. 
and consider BXA, the identity plus BXA. So let's look at minus, minus BA. That's the thing I'm going to try to show is invertible. I'm going to hit this with the identity plus BXA as our geometric series motivates us to do, right? So let's foil this out. This is going to be what? This is going to be identity minus BA, and then identity, so then we have a BXA, and then a minus, minus B, minus BA, minus BA, and then I'm going to have an, then I'm going to have a B, then an X, then an A. All right, so we got all the signs correct over here. Good. And so now what is this? This is just the identity, and then minus BA, and then plus BAX, right? And over here, what can I say? Let's look at this term over here. This term over here is just ABX, right? And so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to write this over, I'm going to take these two terms over here and write this as B, and then X, minus a b x right a and now what is x times a b x this over here tells us that x times identity minus a b is just the identity right so this over here is just the identity and so this just gives me a b a and a minus b a so all this just gives me the identity right so i've just shown that identity minus b a times this matrix over here is going to be the identity that sh shows that B minus A, identity minus B A is invertible, right? Now, this argument can be reversed, right? I can do the exact same trick with A and B interchanged. I can run the same argument, so that shows what we've just shown. We've just shown that identity minus B A is invertible if and only if identity minus, identity minus B A is invertible if and only if the identity minus AB is invertible. And that proves that the determinant minus identity time minus AB is equal to zero if and only if the determinant my, of identity minus BA is equal to zero. So that shows that the eigenvalues of AB are the eigenvalues of BA. Thank you very much.